Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. It's towards the end of November, starting in January, January 2022. I'm going to be doing a whole series on starting seeds indoors. And the focus of that series is for people that have a small garden, for a family of four, and maybe you're on a budget. So if you want to subscribe, follow along because I will take you from starting seeds in January to getting them out into the garden. So there are two keys and some things I want to talk about now in November before we start seeding starting seeds in January and in February. And that is the starting mix. You can buy, these are four different examples of seed starting mix. Any seed starting mix is going to work fine. Now, none of them have problems with fungus gnats individually. As a collective, seed starting mixes, no matter what brand you buy, have a really good chance of having fungus gnat eggs in there. And that's something you don't want. You don't want to have the fungus gnat eggs hatch, infest your seed starts, and create misery. And if you've had this happen to you, please leave a comment and let new gardeners know that this is not uncommon. So the way you deal with this is you pick out any seed starting mix. There's four different ones here. This year I'm going to be using Pro Mix for my own stuff. I like to use boiling water, a nice big pot, and I hydrate the seed starting mix with the boiling water. Any kind of can, just like this, a little trash can. A plastic tote. Most of your seed starting mix is slightly moistened. This one is completely dry. You're going to have to pre-moisten this before you use it in your seed starting cells and I will show you how to do that. But what I highly recommend is put in your dry mix or partially moist mix into a container and then add in boiling water. The boiling water will kill off the fungus gnat eggs. It's really, really important that you do this. You don't need any soil life to start for germinating seeds. There'll be plenty of time to introduce soil biology into the starting mix or the potting up mix or they can get it when they go outside. You want a sterile mix. You don't want to be dealing with fungus gnats. And I'll also talk about stratification, what that means in getting your seeds set up. Some seeds need to be refrigerated. So I just pour the boiling water in here and I recommend getting your starting mix set up a good week before you're going to use it. Because a lot of people ask me when I've done this before, how much water do I put in? And you really just want to make sure you saturate the whole thing. So you're better off oversaturating this and then giving it like a week to dry. So if you want to do your seed starting today, you wouldn't really want to do this now because you're better off putting in more hot water than you think. It should be boiling, it should be steaming. You can see all the steam coming out of there and you mix this through. And I probably would add in maybe another good 16 ounces here piece of foil right on top, keep the heat in, and then that's when, you know, then I would put the lid on there. <laughs> and you just let this sit. That boiling water will do a great job in taking care of potential fungus net eggs. And again, not one specific seed starting mix causes this problem, has this problem. It's just a risk that most of these are peat moss based and the fungus nets end up in the peat moss. So that's what I do for all of my starting mix. Now the other thing that's important is that some seeds need a process called, let's see if we put that in there, stratification. And what that means is they need four to eight weeks of cold temperatures. And it's typically around 32 degrees F, but you can put these, and these are actually in my refrigerator, put them in your refrigerator now. You want at least four weeks of these seeds being cold, up to eight weeks so that when you take them out of the refrigerator, you let them warm for a couple of days, you're gonna get a better germination rate when you set these up in your seed starting mix and you start growing them. If you don't give them the stratification time of four weeks to eight weeks, germination rate for these is really low, sometimes like 10%. This is very true with plants that I tend to grow often, and that is rosemary, lavender, really benefit from stratification being in your refrigerator for that four to eight weeks 
And then I will also put a link to my blog article that talks more about stratification and lists all of these. But these are 35. I'll just hold it there for a second if you want to freeze it. But these are 35 common plants whose seeds like to go through a period of stratification. And stratifying that means that that cold temperature either breaks, breaks down. down an enzyme that is preventing germination or it increases the production of hormones or other enzymes that disrupt whatever chemicals in that seed that inhibits germination. So either way, the cold weather gets your seeds ready for germination. And it's really important because you don't want to be sitting around waiting for seeds to germinate that aren't. Now, one caveat is like I overseed rosemary, lavender, I get them to germinate but they sometimes take literally 12 weeks of sitting in that starting mix. If you go through the stratification process, you get better germination, you get quicker germination, and it's just a better experience. All of these plants that are on here, all of them don't necessarily need four weeks or eight weeks, but I like to start buying my seeds now, December, throw them into the refrigerator, get them at least four weeks, and when I need them, in January or so, they've got that four weeks. And it's just gonna save you some headache of dealing with seeds that don't germinate. Hope that makes sense. These are two things that are really important to help you have a better experience growing your own transplants indoors. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. And these are some of the seeds that I am growing this year. And these are strawberries too. Strawberries, just on the side note, don't like to be buried beneath the soil. They like to be pressed onto the starting mix. Wild strawberries tend to really want that period of stratification, but I do that for all my strawberries. I have good germination and definitely lavender. Put those in a refrigerator for almost two months if you can. Get them nice and chilled. Again, thanks for watching and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.